In this presentation, we will look at the requirements for a valid trust and the three certainties. The case of Knight and Knight laid down the requirement for three certainties to be present in order for a trust to be effective. To be held as valid, trust instruments would have to have certainty of intention, certainty of subject matter and certainty of objects. Looking at certainty of intention, there must be a clear intention to create a trust by the settlor. An intention to create a moral obligation or gift is not sufficient to create a trust. A written manifestation of a trust instrument is the best way to effect this. When deciding if there is certainty of intention, one must first look to the nature of the language used. The words, as stated in Jones and Locke, must constitute an imperative expression of intention to subject property, to a legally binding obligation for the benefit of persons or purposes. While there is no requirement that specific language be used, the use of appropriate technical language in the trust instrument will usually operate as prima facie evidence of an intention to create a trust. This is illustrated in Paul and Constance, in which the phrase, the money is as much yours as it is mine, was held to constitute a valid trust. If an alternative intention is clear, such as the intention to make a pure gift, then a trust will not be formed. No particular words will impose a trust on their own. The courts instead read any statement as a whole. An express trust can still be created without the intention of doing so. In the Constance case, Constance was described as a man of unsophisticated character who did not know he was creating a trust. But the courts found that that indeed was what he had done. 